Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome and all to our afterbirth feed and streak and uh, is it just me or have we reached quite frankly unreasonable heights? Oh, it's like the game was like Rage, Rage, I, I know what you were going to say, I know where you were going with that and don't worry bro, I got you covered, here's some wigs my man, here's some wigs, take this glue and slap them on your back and you're ready to go, unleash the Icarus inside you my friend and burn to death in the sky. And of course that's how we found out that the game actually is really, really just psychotic. In fact, to be fair, if we ever had to find out that a game that we bought actually is possessed by Satan, it would be Isaac, wouldn't it? Like, there's, there's gonna be a point where he finally decides that enough people have played this game and he clicks his finger and everyone who's ever played Isaac gets absorbed into their monitor and enters the world of fiery demon virtual hell and, and you've just gotta deal with that. And we also have the D4, actually, I've not even uh, really looked at that, which isn't great because I don't really want to give up uh, flight just to have a chance at a random item. So I think the D4 for us, money equals power. Oh yeah, check my bling a ring out. Yeah, I just called it bling a ring. That's because I'm so, I am just so avenue my uh, from the house friend, friend -aru. Yeah, what up? Sentences to my, to my bros. All right, I am I'm okay with money equals power. You know, it's it's fine. We'll we'll move rapidly on from my extreme whiteness, and uh, yeah, it's fine, isn't it? I mean, if we do end up finding a fair amount of money, it's going to be good. But it also is. Oh, we're on an Excel floor. No, I don't know why I needed to say it like that. An Excel floor. What groovy baby? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that needed an Austin Powers. <laughs> Groovy. <laughs> is that a bad impression or is that a good impression? I can't actually tell the quality of that impression. I, I feel like it could it could go either way. I mean, to be fair, it's when I specifically go groovy. It, like that one kind of is all right, but I don't think I could speak specifically like him unless I just wanted to go full fat bastard. Uh, I eat because I'm unhappy, and I'm unhappy because I eat. Is that a baby? Is that a bit? We're not gonna go down this. Is that a baby? Looking at Isaac. Oh my god! Fat bastard needs to be an Isaac boss! Somebody needs to do an Austin Powers mod of this game! Yes, they do. Oh, joyous days they do. They just do. They, they need to. They just need to. They really, really do. Okay. Alright. We can do this thing. Yes, we can. Some spiders to kill, but that is fine. Wheel of Fortune. I want to find the other item room as soon as possible. We have spent, uh, quite frankly, too much time on this floor as I had to uh, immediately upon starting this run uh, go away from my computer for like a minute or so and arrange something because I'm going out after I record this and, you know, people are waiting for it. And I'm like, no, all right, we'll go out for dinner after I've done a video for everyone because I don't want to not do it and let them down. They're like, what? the hell man what are you doing i'm like shut up you don't know me i want to be a glowy glowy like pan pancake i guess we'll take maggie's bow actually the health's kind of nice and we're not desperately wanting for damage right now and you know i am kind of feeling the d4 you know the more the more stuff that we end up doing here the more i'm the more i'm looking at that d4 and going hmm, we could end up with some really hilarious synergies I'm kind of tempted, a little bit on the tempted side. The five minutes for an Excel floor is uh, fine. Before you say anything, I'm not actually holding people up. I just had to deal with arrangements. So that would be great. Just a crowd of people tapping their feet in frustration in the background. Uh, well, I'm just happy, merrily recording a, a little bit of Isaac. Yes, I am. A little bit of Isaac for my Pam. I don't know who Pam is. I'm assuming one of you is probably called Pam. A little bit of Isaac for my Stan. Again, same thing with the Pam. Pam meets Stan. Stan meet Pam. Guys, I made a new couple out of you guys. Yay! Seriously, though, you, you are, like, obligated, if you share those names, to comment. And uh, there you go. Let the magic flow. 
That would be a really weird thing to do in a video, though. Like, like, wouldn't it? Just, just yell out, "Hey, he did!" Oh God, look at the items are being offered. It's just, oh God, what is going on? What is life? It's, it's like, what, what is? Oh, oh gosh, gosh, golly, go, oh, God, we. Yeah, I'm sorry. We just can't. We can't use the D4 anymore, can we? This is too good. Like, this is genuinely... It's too good. It's just too good. I'm sorry, D4, but it's just not your night. It is just not your night. As much as I want to explore the rest of this floor, we have time to make up for. But yeah, if, like, a YouTube video actually had the power to... Whoa! The power to move you. Yeah. I did not mean, he did not mean, but yeah, the YouTube video has the power to just call out two names, I'm, I'm kind of in a sidetracky mind way today, I'm, I'm just sort of like, I can feel my brain blitzing through thoughts, and uh, I'm not sure why it's doing it specifically, but it's just in kind of one of those, I'm so ready modes, and I suppose that's fine. But either way, uh, you're watching a YouTube video and you feel a sort of a, like a like a tingling, a stirring inside as as the commentator calls out your name, and you go into this kind of ah trance, and then the commentator calls out another name, and then you are bewitched by the spell. I guess an actual an actual witch could do it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if there's such a thing as like a love witch that like gains power by making people fall in love. I guess that wouldn't be that bad, unless it's like truly against their will, and in reality they'd actually be terrible for each other, and it just really is. That's my best witch laugh, because I was trying to cackle, and I kind of went with a cackle, but it's, it, no, actually that doesn't matter because we had one of each, I really thought we just lost our only key, our only key, no, I mean, there's a chance we can get guppy this run, since we found a guppy item so early, and we're about to walk into the boss, because, of course, I went straight to the boss. Free black heart, though, that is nice, and here we go! So you feel this kind of trance come over you, and then the other name is mentioned, and you sort of wake up back into reality, and have this overwhelming need to find someone of this name, and fall madly head over heels in love with them! <laughs> And there's nothing you can do about it. You are truly betwixt. Betwixt, bewitched, not betwixt. You're not between anything. I'm so sorry. And Crampy. I mean, it's fine. At least we get Crampy over in a free uh, devil deal. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cube him down because otherwise, uh, that was gonna be very irritating. Fighting Krampus in a small room is just awful, especially when he starts spinning brimstone. I am, I am convinced that Krampus only really spins his brimstone when he goes. <laughs> I'm in such a tiny room. This is going to be so irritating for Eden. <laughs> and start spinning his heart out. Then again, I suppose he is technically a demon, so it's not really unreasonable to suggest that he's doing something specifically to be uh, evil. It's kind of their shtick, really. I mean, if a demon is being evil, doesn't that mean the demon is being good by demonic standards? And therefore... For a demon to actually be evil in the eyes of his peers, he would have to do something good? Right? I, like, that technically, that makes sense, right? Like, if, if an evil, if a demon, like, gave somebody life, wouldn't that to his fellow demons be like, Whoa, you are sick! Like, maybe? I, I don't know, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm looking a little bit too into this. Maybe it's not as not as big of an issue as I'm making it seem, but I'm just I'm kinda I kinda feel like that would work. I mean, as much as I try and evaluate demon society, nice little liberty cap there. Ah, oh, forgot the seed! <sighs> Two zealous yelling pirates yell joyously. That's just a nice one, isn't it? They're really they're really zealously into being pirates and they're just on the deck of their ships, yo ho hoing with the best of them, and they're just having fun. That's nice. I like pirates. That sounded way too special for my liking. I like pirates. Yeah, this is Jimmy. Um, he had some problems when he was young, but he likes pirates. I like pirates! He looks up as the mention of pirates. You're like, sure you do, Jimmy. Sure you do. <laughs> and then, once everybody leaves the room, his face goes from the sort of happy, yay, pirates, to a dark stare as he reaches behind his pillow and pulls out a shiny cutlass and goes, uh, Arr. I'll make them pay one day. <laughs> that's 
That's the story of Jimmy the Pirate. Hey, Spirit Heart, that's really, really good. Thank you for existing, Mr. Larry Jr. Your very existence and the fact that I'm going to kill you now means that I will have a better one. Isn't that just the way of the world? That was a very weird amount of those mushrooms it blew up, considering the position of uh, that bomb, but... There you go. I don't really have enough bombs to completely pot shot all of them. I guess I'll give the other group of three a go. I've still got one left after that. Damn. No magic mushroom. And Curse of Darkness, very irritating. Though I like this room. So you can just shoot down the path and it, it just feels like they're trapped there waiting for you to slaughter them. Like, how did they even get on this ledge? Like, how did these guys end up in a situation where they found themselves stranded on a little ledge in the middle of uh, a, like, abyss? And, and how is the water even going over the abyss without leaking into it. It should just be completely draining out the rooms, and there should be no such thing as a flooded cellar. Because if that bottomless pit is filled with water, that's a lot of water! That's going to cause a lot of damp and structural damage in the Isaac household. It should probably just all collapse on top of Mother, and then we won't even have the issues to begin with. So, I feel like the existence of the flooded cellar just breaks all sort of game canon. But either way, those three were like, guys, 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 what, what, what if, what if we go on the center and then, and then no one can kill us. We can, like, use each other as bridges to, like, get across. Oh, God. You know, why? I mean, I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. I really am very happy that we've been had such a good run so far. That the Eden streak is probably going to continue. But at the same time, like, seriously? We get the D4 on a run where just everything is awesome. It just, it's so typical, isn't it? It's just so, so typical. But yeah, let's go to the middle of this room, all right? It'll be great. We'll use each other as, like, bridges to get across, and then we'll pull each other over. It'll be fantastic, and then, oh! Maybe, maybe they're not running from, like, Eden in the center. They're not running from the player. Maybe because they run away from everything. They're actually just terrified uh, of all the other denizens of the basement. They're, they're scared of all the other creatures that are here. And that's why they're there. They're hiding from them. And then we come along and just slaughter them for just being alive. Ooh. Like, how many of you would kill the enemies in a room if the doors were open when you walked in? Would you still just straight up slaughter them? I think that's an important question to ask. Either way, we've got ourselves some bossy action. I think I missed a tinted rock. I can't tell because darkness. It's just so dark. You know, there's just not much else I can say. It is just so, so dark. Uh, all right, a free horror of Babel on every four rooms. It's not bad. You know, there's definitely better uses of the blank card, but it's at least something, and it's better than the completely useless D4 at this stage, because I think we can certainly say we don't want to re-roll away things like the wafer, especially with nine lives, it gives us an extra hit if we ever end up in a revive chain, so it's just absolutely fantastic. Absolutely flawless, one might say, and good day, Gertie. Good day. Ooh, nice. Blue cap is very good. No devil deal, I don't think. I certainly can't see it. Were you tinted? You are tinted! Isn't that lovely? Ooh. That is really depressing, actually. I genuinely thought that was going to be something good. You know, I was I was excited. I was conned by the rarity of a golden chest from a tinted rock. Because, you know, the, the physics breakingness of that is is quite astounding. But, but no, no, just nothing in there. And think about it. Somebody has packed an entire metal golden chest into a rock that is smaller than the chest. That is like, that is like matter manipulation, space physics bending level of what the hell are you doing? And uh, I I don't know, I'm, I'm quite impressed by that. Alright, let's uh, explode ourselves some flies. Yes, indeed. Grab a pill. Look down. I don't want to look down. I'm scared of heights. Because I look down and then, yeah, you get it. You get it. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. Alright, this guy should die pretty easily in the next wave. Yeah, instantly in the next wave. And there we go. So this room, I don't know how anyone would ever die to this room. It's just kind of irritating. I guess if you panic and rush around the room taking damage, it could potentially happen, right? But even then, it's not likely. See, I don't know whether to use the blank card on random rooms, because I doubt I'll really need it, will I? We'll open up these two and then blank card this. Stay! Lo 
lovely extra little bit of damage. Is that going to move us up to the top? So we need to get two extra and... Oh, we just got the one. I mean, obviously, Lump of Coal is making our tiers look a lot smaller than they would be without it. But still, uh, we are hitting quite hard. Although I've got a lot of tiers up items and it still feels like my tiers are really, really quite low, all things considered. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. But either way, we are definitely doing uh, very nicely for what we're expecting here and oh that's it i swear i missed a wave unless i just didn't notice it which now makes me feel bad for the wave he was so ineffectual he doesn't even remember fighting us that's so sad that's just so sad all right i really need to get ah, our range down sucks because we actually do have quite low range i really need to get some sort of spirit heart so i can be a lot more safer when it comes to uh, the devil deals, but as it stands, we're okay. Not of the bombs to obviously go through all of these skulls, which is a shame, but we will have to deal. Item room, where art thou? Hell, even a shop will do really nicely here. Oh god, I hate this room so much in every way. Like, look at this. It's just, how do you do this without taking damage, without a little bit of luck? I mean, really. Okay, you get there. That's nice. Sorry, I just had to wait long enough. But the thing is, if I wasn't flying, this room without flight is just bloody ridiculous. It really is. All right, they died before they even got any spiders off, which is great. And then some black skulls are destroyed. Oh, careful. Now let that spider just walk itself into me. That would have been very embarrassing. Ooh, I think a sun is going to be much, much more useful. I'll quickly get rid of them before I walk into my brimstone fate, which is something I tend to like to do. Ooh, this is a very nice room to get, and then hopefully our item room has, like, the soul in it or something. Though, to be fair, I'd also very much love some damage, and instead, we get an item better than anything else, because I love, I say, I say, I love me a juicy sack. Yes, I do. Oh, a juicy, juicy sack. Okay, we kind of skipped the shop somehow, which doesn't make sense. Oh, no, we didn't go to the right path, did we? But normally, hey, we didn't go to the right path for the shop, because obviously we went down the wrong path. It's, it's funny when you, when you have no sense of humor. Okay, that is dead. Do I go for the boss? Uh, let's go for it. Ah, it's only war. That's absolutely fine. War shouldn't be able to hit us that badly. What are you doing? War, what are you doing? Stop. Stop, just please. What what are you what are you doing? Ooh, careful. That was a little bit on the scary side of things. And down you go. Okay. Careful, careful. Yay! Juicy sack! Juicy sack! MVP! Still no devil deal. That that is offensive to me in a fundamental way. That is really sad. Alright, no point going blindly wandering for a shop when we don't even have the money for the shop. That is fine. And now we can shine brighter than the sun. Oh, we didn't even get to kill the room with it because it's monstrous. That is just depressing. Really, really depressing. Ooh, careful. And yay! Alright, we should definitely get a devil deal on this floor. I'll be very, very surprised if we don't because we need ourselves some more guppyage. Hell, any reason upgrade would be lovely at this stage. So we know secret rooms there. We may as well use our one bomb on that and get replacement bombs. Oh, well, a lot of keys, which actually is really good because we were a little bit low on keys. Yeah. Wow. I just realized something. I just, this is actually, oh, guys. Oh, man. All right. We, huh. <laughs> I can't quite get over this. So we have nine lives and repeatably usable Suicide King. Do we do this? Do we go for this? Is this something that we want? Is it worth giving up potentially all of our health that we've earned for, for the chance at getting lots of mad loot repeatedly? You know, when in Rome, when in Rome, we do as the Romans do. What do you have for us? No real items, though, which is kind of a shame. I, I'll admit, this, this might be a terrible idea. Genuinely, this might be an awful, awful idea. But at the same time, I don't think you can pass up an opportunity to chain Suicide's King. Like, it's just... Look at that! See, we got unlucky the first time. You can get some uh, ridiculous stuff from this. 
Oh my god, this is so good. This is so, so good. Oh, Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. All right, boom. Yeah, spirit heart, that's okay. Because I can definitely... Oh, ho, ho, I can definitely afford to waste some light. It's not even wasting, is it? Because, I mean, I'm getting getting loads of good stuff from it. I've gained a few items. I mean, even the immunity to explosions was fantastic. So, let's do it once more. See what's in there. That would have been awesome to get some extra guppage. And this way, I don't have to choose. Careful, don't want the spirit heart. What do I want you or you? Let's see what that is. Power pill. Good old power pill. Two of spades. We'll double that up. Back to our suicide king. And I guess I want another room that's empty to properly use it in. But I like this. In before I get too carried away and <laughs> end up doing it more than my allotted amount of times. All right. Loads of money to come with it. That is great. A little bit of fate. I mean, it's a health up. Although I shouldn't have got that now. I should have got that one side. Finished suicide kinging. But, you know, in my excitement, I am just... This is just really good. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. I've never had a run do this. The chain suicides. We're not getting that lucky item-wise, and I'm going to do it once more. I'll keep the rest of the lives just in case, you know. Just, you never know what might happen. We'll open this chest, of course, see if there's anything in there. Just some explosives. We get a load of money doing this, which is always fantastic, too. Still no more items, though. That's definitely a shame. Oh, a little bit of guppy itch. That is suddenly very, very good. We'll pick up all of this. And then one final time. Yeah, that one wasn't that good. So back to not deaf, but not deaf still. You know, please, can I... Can I have my uh, previous one? Because I do want one backup life, just in case. I think that that makes sense. And then we'll go pick up the sun, which I still think is the best use for this, just because the floor wiping is just fantastic. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like we could have done better overall, but at the same time... That wasn't that bad, was it? We don't want... Actually, we do want Bob's brain. We're freaking immune to explo explosions. Yes, explosions. Ha <laughs> ha. Explosions. I bet so many of you were getting so ready to pounce on my ass in the comments for leaving uh, Mother Truck in Bob's brain there. But no, I realized because I'm not a complete idiot, okay? So we actually technically have more health than we ended up with. So that's good. I mean, I'm not sure inherently that was worth it. I guess for the host heart, it probably was. But I think just for the factor of we did it and that was hilarious is great. We just killed ourselves so many times. <laughs> like, straight up. That is awesome. Okay, our item room. Not bad. Though Rainbow Baby doesn't count towards conjoin. So, actually, that's not as good as... Uh, I initially suspected it to be, but still, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm just happy we got the chance to do that. I mean, how often do you get to Suicide King eight times in a row for some mad returns? Because if I'd only been able to do it the once, if I hadn't got blank card, we would have got a really terrible result from it. Fortunately, of course, we end up with uh, our... Greed in there because we did have a lot of money. I'm going to actually go back for the curse room. I think that makes sense just because we are two out of three guppy now, which is a huge, huge deal. All right. Anything? No, nope, that's fine. We can come back for whatever drops in there afterwards. Although I don't think anything actually did drop in there, so it's not even a big deal. Boom. Boom. Oh, that's so sad. Ah, cricket head. No, that's so sad. So, so sad. All right. Well. On we go. I guess I still have two lives, as in I can die twice, right? So that's good as well. Don't need Judas's tongue. We've only got one red health anyway, and I think we are ready. That was a power pill, if I recall, which obviously we can't take with us as well as the sun, so we are good to go. Let's do this thing, mother. I don't think dying counts as taking damage, so we should be okay in terms of uh, devil deal. We're actually killing her really quickly, but I think that's more due to the large volume of spiders and flies that we are wrecking here, but unfortunately, we do get our devil deal. And yeah, I think the pact is fine. We get our permanent Polaroid invincibility, as well as a nice little damage up to max damage, and even more of the tears, which is great, because our tears still feel really ridiculously low, which is definitely worrying me. Hello? Pop! 
And splat. Do as I go. Oh, I was actually going the right way. Ain't that just convenient? A lot of stump worms coming at me. Makes me wonder how these stump worms even find where I am. And I just realized, of course, we have the wafer, which means we have so, so much effective health and so many chances. Okay, well, we may as well grab ourselves a black heart while we're here. I still want to keep the uh, sun, just because I think it's still more useful, even even with the ability to generate black hearts. Because of the wafer, I'm just really not worried about dying. And the other three, I don't even need to pick up, because they do nothing for me right now. You don't even do anything right now. That's that's my rendition of that song. A much more rock and roll version, I think, because I could definitely sing rock and roll. You guys don't know me. And then we'll sun that room. Oh, didn't actually kill him. I just injured some lust. I suppose that makes sense. I love how Bob's brain hasn't blown up in my face once since I've become immune to it, which is just, it's... It's about right, isn't it? I guess I will do that, because the keys have more tangible use. You never know. We have Guppy's tail, and our boss fallen. Oh, give us a Guppy item. Give us a Guppy item. You can do it. Give us that sweet, sweet Guppy item. I believe. I believe. Well, that's still fine. You know, we get the couple black hearts from it, but it could have been so much better. Hopefully, then, one more devil deal is awaiting us, and that is the one where everything goes crazy. But yeah, Bob's brain is just refusing to do anything. It's so upsetting. It's really, really so upsetting. Can I... Oh, I don't actually have the charge. I was just sat there taking damage, wondering why my spacebar item wasn't going off. Whoops! And, oh, I cursed the maze really far away. That's that's quite awkward, I suppose. Down here we go. Yep, looking good. And actually, I probably should go to the trap room, shouldn't I? We'll just quickly blast that off in here, clear out the room. Whoa, were you underground? How have I still not killed everything? What the hell is happening in this room? There we go. And, yeah, I think I'm going to go... For God's sake! Damn you, curse of the maze. Damn you all the way to hell. <laughs> Uh, have we killed the hush at all in any of our Eden streaks? I don't think so. And believe me, I'm not going to this one, but I think it's something to think about at least. And up we go. Let's have a look. See, ah, uh, see, I wanted it the off chance it was a red chest to see if we could uh, finish off our gupster, because I feel like we really should be at this stage. And you range down something we don't really care about. Lovely. Ooh, book of secrets. That's kind of nice, but at the same time doesn't do much for us because we have a blank card sun, which is just really better in every way now that I think about it. It's just like such a superior item combination. Granted, it requires two instead of just the one of the secret, but still. And actually, we should also go to the cursed room as well again, just to just to see if we've got that sweet, sweet guppies. Because I'm all about that gup, about that gup. Ooh, uh, this is potential, isn't it? Uh, uh, that's kind of nice, but Degas, we'll use that, and then Yara. Oh, 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 a blood card Yara with a chest coming up. I, I think that's pretty good, isn't it? We're gonna get ourselves some serious itemage, and now suddenly having forty-three keys makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Like that's. That is really what <laughs> everything died before freaking what's his face could connect with it. I mean, that is just typical. All right, they are gone. And if there's red chest in here, I guess. Uh, do I want a double U? That's the question. I guess I might as well. I mean, I've got permanent Yera. There's no point not using it. And yay, I made more bombs. I did it, guys. I made so many bombs. Uh, granted, we lose the ability to see the map on the cathedral, but that's not really a big deal. I mean, when compared to getting maybe 32 items on the chest, there's not really much in it now, is there? All right, we'll pop you, pop you, and then just kind of sit here and just annihilate you. And um, there we go. Looking good. Oh, I'm not going to move. I'm going to see if I can luckily take no damage by not moving. Aha! I somehow managed it. I genuinely don't know how I did, but I... Oh, my God! I I accept, you know? I I accept. I think I definitely... <laughs> oh, that's a good... It's a good final devil deal, you know, it's it's acceptable. I would say definitely acceptable, and we are about to get so many items. 
I think I doubled to 32 and then open, because obviously I can't open more than that. But at least we can open everything on the way, and that's the important thing. And because I'm immune to explosions, I can just melee range, kill those leeches, and it's not even much of a big deal. Obviously, the knife is just going to tear through everything, especially when I've got the freaking uh, wafer and my invincibility shields. I just, I'm just literally, I'm going to walk into Isaac's room, I'm going to walk up to him, I'm going to place my knife firmly into his stomach, and I'm just going to stand there until he falls over. That, that's that's going to be the extent of this Isaac fight. So I hope you're mad prepared for this. I really do. Like, I hope you're frothing at the mouth. Almost like rabies happening. But, you know, maybe maybe a bit nicer. I, actually, thinking about it, commentating rule 101, don't imply that your entire viewing audience should be frothing at the mouth for really any reason. That, that actually seems very not sensible. Hey, that's a nice quick little... Uh, Fine, I'm happy with that, and, oh, technically, uh, he got away, that's so sad, and now he's dead. Alright, this is gonna be good, this is gonna be good, I don't even care about the rest of this floor, let's go get ourselves some mad itemage, and then slaughter through the chest, and one, and now we go do four rooms, because obviously... I don't want to go too mental, because you never know what might happen, but only a four-room charge gives us a, a lot of room to play with. I'm assuming I'm going to get a lot of health here, so I don't need to be too careful about not taking damage. Don't care about the anarchist cookbook. I mean, I do feel a little bit bad, because the amount of overkill that these poor chess denizens are about to experience is just unbelievable. It really, really is. Um, there we go. You're gonna get double step, step, step. Looking good. So we're gonna go from 8 to 16, which is fantastic. And boom! There we go. And then we'll charge up once more time and see what happens. Granted, we're not even gonna be able to open every chest in there, but I guess I may as well actually manually use my uh, Yera after the final charge, because why the hell not? Just to have a room full of, like, what, 64 chests? That's, that's not bad, is it? That's, that's an acceptable amount of uh, free items to be given on the chest. I don't think anyone can deny that. Because I don't want to kill too many rooms without my massive power-up. Because that's just a waste, you know? An absolute waste. Uh, how are they not dead? That seems very suspicious that I uh, managed to get away with that. But there we go. No chest in there. We'll grab the steam sail. I mean, I'm going to grab it just for the sake of grabbing it. It doesn't really do anything for us. And go! And then go! All right, let's see what we're rocking. Boom, boom, boom. Interesting. Let's go down the middle here. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, let's go down here and open all the chests. All right, we're out of keys. <laughs> and this is why I was very content to... Uh, just have ourselves a, a, a final bit of doubling. And then we don't actually care about that, but we'll get Epic Fetus. Why the hell not? Oh, I actually swapped this to Epic Fetus. I thought it... Oh, yeah, the knife spray. I remember now. That's fantastic. And then we'll grab some damage up. I mean, at this point, I am just going to take everything. So it's not like I need to even really evaluate it. I don't even care about getting the health things. We're going to bomb the hell out of some stuff. Ooh, is that going to give us a... Oh, I really wanted it to have the freaking Bomberman explosion radius. That would have been so good. Why do I get denied so much? It's just so sad. So many transformations just happened. That's pretty cool. And then we'll grab that. I, w I really wish that I had more keys. I really do. You know, it's a sor sor man. It's a really sad state of affairs when 43 keys isn't enough for all of your chest items. Like, that is just, that is just poor. And then we'll get gra I really don't care. I mean, that's probably put our damage down a little bit, but that's fine. We'll probably get tech lasers when that happens, right? Did we get conjoined? I don't actually know if we got conjoined. Let's find out. And boom. No, we didn't get conjoined. How the hell did we not get conjoined? That seems absurd that we wouldn't have got conjoined there. Oh, we missed ourselves. Uh, lost contact. And there we go. And our enemy is this way. I've definitely not missed anything, right? That was... Is it just me? Or considering the fact that we have this many items, we've not actually gained that much. Where am I getting all these items? shots from. I guess all my various uh, followers is actually making quite a large amount of uh, things. I mean, it's pretty good that we got Epic Fetus, because obviously uh, I uh, 
I'm immune to explosions, which makes this quite nice. And I just realized we've got Curse of the Tower with Bomber Boy explosions, which means uh, I am just completely fine. And whenever I take damage, well, the room is going to explode in a fiery inferno of death, which is just, just lovely. Just absolutely lovely. <laughs> this is so good. This is just so good. It really, really is. Uh, good times, good times. Oh, technically have a new key. That's really good. Got ourselves some new key action, and that's going to explode everywhere and probably kill them. Are they going to die? No, I'm actually going to have to hit them myself with my own missile. How preposterous. Hey, holy light shot. Nice. And cursed eye. Why the hell not? I don't think it's even going to matter, honestly. No, it doesn't make a difference at all. Let's go open a grand total of one more item. Uh, I'll be real. I don't really think we need to scrounge for keys to open these because we're epic fetusing and there's not much that can even synergize with that. Oh, we got Greatest Body and the Parasite. Fantastic. Just uh, fantastic. I do wish we had more keys, though. Epic Vita should totally splash, like it should, uh, like when it hits the ground, if you have splash damage, it should have like spit out loads of bombs, just to really give off that feeling, I think that would be uh, where it's at, and good night to you, oh god damn, so many chests and so little time, <laughs> so many chests and so little time, and smack, well, I think we can safely say that was a fairly successful Eden run. My name is Midrange. Like if you enjoyed this and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Oh, good boy. You